But posting daily content to YouTube is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. What's up everybody, welcome to the video. Currently it is December 8th, so we are one full week into December, which also means we're one full week into doing the Vlogmas posting as much as I can basically on this channel. So we made it, we're 25% there. And now compared to last year when I did Vlogmas, there are a couple of things I'm doing differently. I'm trying to make much better videos that actually help you, not just videos that I wanna make. Which brings us to the first reason why this is not easy. Making good, well thought out, well planned videos that serve a purpose for you all, the viewer, actually takes a lot more time than just pulling out your camera, talking to it, yab it on about whatever it is that's on your mind that day. Random videos are, of course, a lot easier to make. It takes a lot more time to focus on what you're gonna say, make sure you have a good intro, make sure you have good talking points. That's the first reason why this is taking, or that's the first reason why this is a lot more difficult than the previous two times that I did it. By the way, we're currently on our way walking to the gym. It is a nice Sunday morning. Might get a very small cup of coffee. I like this coffee place called OK Cafe, but their coffee is super, super strong, so I had to stay away from it. But it's great coffee. But when I drink it, I'm up for like the next three days. I'm super wired. Reason number two is similar to reason number one. What I'm trying to do differently on this channel is actually stick to more of one focused topic, being men's fashion, cycling as well. But it seems to be that you all, the audience, you really enjoy when we talk a lot about what shoes you should buy, what shoes you should wear. All the men's fashion stuff seems to get a lot of feedback, a lot of engagement. Again, thank you so much for being here. Crazy, I have no problem filming in public if I'm walking around Times Square or Bryant Park, anywhere like in Manhattan. But when it comes to my own neighborhood, I get a bit self-conscious. I don't want people to hear what, what I'm talking about. It, it, it's weird. So making mostly men's fashion videos is both easier and harder at the same time. It's easier because out of all the topics I've talked about on this channel, it's the one that I know the best. Been doing it for all, over 12 years at this point. It's to the point where I almost don't need my notes. I can just almost, almost, is the camera crooked? To the point where I don't need my notes, I can almost just talk off the top of my head. But it's also harder because every men's fashion video has to have some sort of structure. Similar to point one, meaning it's harder, it takes a lot more time to make videos that have a purpose, have a structure, have more of a story. I'd still rather do that nowadays rather than just throwing up random shit like I used to do in the past, but it does take more time, it does take more energy at the end of the day. And we are just about at OK Cafe, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, coffee places that I've tried in my neighborhood. It's very good coffee, but I can only have a few sips. Otherwise, like I said, I'm gonna be feeling crazy for the next three or four days. What is a Japanese restaurant? That's a sushi place called Sakura, and really enjoy that sushi place, but it looks like they misspelled Japanese. It just says Japanese. Okay. Just got back from the gym. It was a great gym session as always. And that cup of coffee, as you saw, I only took a couple of sips, started to feel it, and I had to be disciplined and just dump it. Otherwise, it, I would have been awake and wired for the next few days, literally. Talking about men's fashion every day isn't exactly easy. It gets old, there's not a whole lot to it. If you watch my men's fashion videos, you'll notice that I lean very casual. You probably call it smart casual because it's more of how to dress well in casual situations. But if I talk about it nonstop every single day, I'm going to burn out pretty fast, which is actually why these videos help a lot. This is more just my thoughts documenting my morning walk, going to the gym, talking about my process. These actually help keep momentum and keep me from burning out even though this video probably isn't going to get nearly as many views as if I was talking about a pair of my boots or something with, you know, how to get rid of clothes that you don't wear, how a dress shirt should fit. Any of those videos that have a lot of information are gonna do a lot better than a basic video just like this one. But that's okay. These videos don't get a lot of views, but what these types of videos can do for you is they can help you just keep that momentum and keep moving forward, and it'll keep your sanity. You won't burn out as easily. The third reason why daily uploads are harder than expected is just more in my head. I get a bit crazy, and I always feel like I have to be well ahead of the curve or I'm behind. In my mind, there's no such thing as being exactly on time. 
Best way I could explain this is time of filming this video is about in the afternoon on Sunday, December 8th. I already have two videos in the works for Monday tomorrow. One is ready to go. The second one, I'm almost done editing it. I probably still have to edit it another hour or so, but it feels really good to be going into Monday morning with just about two videos ready to go. I just had to do the titles, thumbnails, turn them on, boom, that's it. If I go into tomorrow morning with no videos for the week, it's gonna make me feel frazzled. It's gonna make me feel crazy. This is just something that I've experienced. This is actually a way that I cured my Sunday scaries since I can't just start Monday morning saying, okay, what am I gonna film this week? I have to start Monday morning ahead of the curve, ahead of the eight ball. Otherwise, I'll never get out from behind the eight ball. So just some of my thoughts on doing daily uploads for this December, this Vlogmas season. Figured it could help someone. If you do watch this, of course, let me know if you like this video. So as always, thanks for watching.